Welcome back to the Gourmet Gambit and today we're gonna do a traditional French recipe wrap it in white wine and of course the white wine is not the only ingredient we're gonna use let's get started rinse your rabbit on the cold water some people do not like the head or the liver of the rabbit you can leave that out if you want but I can show you this is gonna put a lot of flavor in your gravy but that's up to you of course just salt it normally a good turn of your pepper mill and just turn it into wheat flour you don't have to cover it up completely, just give it a turn. That is all you need. Put some butter in your frying pan, heat up your frying pan medium heat. Colorize the rabbit light brown. And we're going to keep them aside, we're going to preserve these. Take a glass of white wine and deglaze and then preserve with your rabbit. We're going to make a little bed of herbs in our pot. It gives a good uh, infusion while simmering and it also avoids your rabbit to stick or burn on the bottom of your pan. So we're going to put our rosemary and we got some beautiful fresh thyme. Take a few bay leaves, we're just going to crush our garlic. You don't have to peel the skin off. Black peppercorns, four to five cloves, a little bit salt to start off, and two tablespoons of mustard. And we're gonna put our rabbit on there with the juice. Preserve one glass of wine. We're gonna use this to deglaze our shallots. And we're gonna pour the rest of our wine over the rabbit. Get some water or more wine to get on the right level. So first we're going to get this to the boiling point and then we're going to let it simmer on a very low fire for one hour. So once we're at the boiling point we're going to put this on a very low fire and we're going to let this simmer for 20 minutes with the lid on and then we're going to let it simmer for 40 minutes without the lid to reduce our gravy. The shallots, cut them in half and we're going to cut them into strips. So once our rabbit is uh, ready, we're going to take it out. We're also going to take all the uh, all the herbs and all the little bits out. Pour in your creme fresh. Mix it up. Two tablespoons of flour. Give it a good stir. And we're going to put it aside. Heat up your frying pan, pour some butter in, put in your shallots. So when your shallots become to have a little bit of color, we put in our bacon. Just let it fry a few minutes, doesn't need long. And then we put in our glass of wine to deglaze our frying pan. And we're going to preserve this in a small bowl. Now the mushrooms, we're just going to brush them, brush a little dirt off, but we're not going to wash them because we don't want them to absorb water. Cut off the ends where it's needed, cut the big ones in half. And you can keep the small ones as they are. Put some butter in your frying pan, heat up on the maximum heat for the mushrooms. And we're going to fry them without any salt or pepper. So this is how we want our mushrooms to be. Put out the fire and let them cool down a bit. So we're going to warm up slowly our gravy with the creme fraiche. We're going to put our shallots in there. We're going to stir it up a little bit. So when our sauce starts uh, to thicken, we're going to put our mushrooms in. Just mix it up a little bit. And we're going to take off the heat. We kept our rabbit warm. Our sauce is ready. It's ready to serve.
so far are a recipe of rabbit in white wine. Now you can of course put all the ingredients in from the start and it's all going to blend in. I prefer to taste my shallots and my mushrooms to have some more diversity in my meal. So that's why I fried my shallots in the bacon afterwards and the same for the mushrooms. It's all to you to get this recipe to one you're really fond of. So all that's left to say is bon appetit and see you back soon.